Hello everyone, how are you today? So this is the 16th of July on Friday. So happy Friday everyone. I hope you're having a great Friday. So today I will talk about two pairs as the title says and um, because they are trending. So I will be looking specifically into these two pairs and see what's happening on the lower time frame as well. So um, this is a video session. It's on the live stream because uh, I will be going out for meetings tonight. So uh, just a reminder that this is a video, recorded video session. But hopefully you enjoy my analysis on this video session and learn something new based on, based on my views in the market. So briefly introducing myself, my name is Kay and I am a full-time Forex trader here in Dubai right now. And um, I have been taking trades for the last eight years. And right now I use Ichimoku Kinko Hyo to capture the overall market situation. I use Ichimoku in higher time frames down to lower time frames in 30 minute chart or one hour chart and capture the bigger picture of the market. And when I take trades, I, I use five or 15 minute time frames to look for an entry edge. And I have studied Ichimoku based on the original books. I have read them about like maybe 20 times already, but still learning something new every time I read these original books. So uh, hopefully you enjoy my analysis and also the market views based on the Ichimoku Kinko Hyo here. So let me squeeze my face and, okay, there you go. So before staying here, just a quick disclaimer as usual, this information today is basically based on my own understanding, knowledge. So when you take trades, please do at your own risk. So um, first, let me talk about the USCCAD. So here's my post on the trading view. So this is my trading view account, frexk hyphen official. And today I posted two pairs analysis. One is USCC AD, other one is pound AUD. So let me talk about the USD, USCC AD first. And I mentioned that this is bullish as a per daily chart based on Ichimoku. And the confirmations were below. You can see that the Kumo single span A is up. And also Kijun Sen is up and Chikou span above the candles on the daily chart. So Senko span A is the upper line when the Kumo is bullish. So this part is Kumo is bullish. The Kumo has been uh, bullish and up. And Senko span A is the upper part of the Kumo when it's bullish. And Senko span B is a lower part of the Kumo. And the green one the green line in my chart color setting is called Kijun Sen. And Tenkan Sen is a blue one in my chart color settings. So it depending on what colors you're putting on the Tenkan Sen, Kijun Sen, but Tenkan Sen reacts much quicker than market. So usually Tenkan Sen is closer than Kijun Sen to the price. So that's Tenkan Sen, Kijun Sen. And also Chikou Span is a yellow one in my chart color setting. Chikou span is lagging 26 candles before. And these five lines are called Ichimoku Kinko Hyo as indicator. And simply this is what I use on my daily analysis. So once again, if you see Kumo here, if you see the Senko span A angle is up and bullish, Senko span B flat, Senko span A is up. And also Kijun Sen, the green one, Kijun Sen is pointing upwards. Also, Chikou Span is above the candles, above the Kumo. So this is showing bullishness in the market by the daily chart. Um, and what I mean by bullish is that it doesn't mean that the market keeps going up this way and the arrow. I put the arrow pointing upwards simply because this is bullish. But uh, of course, along the way, there might be some retracements. So the market could go up straight to the resistance, resistance level of a 1.24, sorry, 1.2645 level, but it might retrace backwards. It might retrace and still continuously goes up in this direction too. 
So to make the long story short, this is bullish. So I expect the market continuously go bullish. And simply that's what I meant on this trading view analysis. So here's the next scenario. I put next scenario as um, after P wave broke, uh, after P wave the breakout, market has been bullish above the Tenkan Sen. And market is heading towards resistance level of 1.2645 level. So P wave is also another part of Ichimoku strategy or the market structure. And this is the P wave, the yellow lines. Two yellow lines are called P wave. And simply this is the triangle range. So triangle is called P wave as per Ichimoku because if you just put one line like this, it becomes like P shape. So this is called P wave in Ichimoku. But after the P wave breakout happened here on the 7th of July, the market retested the P wave as well as the Tenkan Sen, and now it's taken off upwards this way. So after P wave breakout, I say that this is bullish price above the Tenkan Sen too, and this is bullish. So here's a breakdown. Uh, the breakdown, breakdown is that, like I mentioned before, I use Ichimoku Kin Kohyo in multiple time frames. So initially, I use I watch daily chart or the forward chart to capture the market direction, and then afterwards I look at the lower time frame. So this time, let's go down to one hour chart, and I look for the bullishness in this case too, in this time frame. So here is one hour chart, exactly the same pair. UCCAD. And what you can see here is that this is flat ranging market because simply Kumo's flat, single span B's flat, single span A is gradually moving up, but overall Kumo has been flat right now. And single span, uh, sorry, Kijun Sen is pointing upwards, but this Kijun Sen upwards can be fake because overall market Kumo is flat. And if you see the price action also, it's been ranging obviously. So there is no potential bullishness in this case. The market could retrace all the way back to Kijun Sen, possibly in this example. And Chikou Span is above the candles, so it shows bullishness. But uh, I would say that overall, in one hour chart, it's ranging. Looks like the market retested. That reversal line happened at 1.2561 level because you see previous resistance is now becoming support. So the market could go up from here, but I don't expect the market continuously goes up here. It might be resisted at 1.2614, the previous resistance in one hour chart, and it may retrace backwards. And uh, afterwards, if the pushback, if there are more buyers than sellers in the market, then there should be an end wave bullish, and the market could go up and reaches to the potential target based on the daily chart here, 1.2645 level. So at this point, since this is ranging in one hour chart, I stay away. If I see the bullishness in one chart, then I look for an entry edge. But right now, I stay away is my advice. So let's wait until the market breaks the resistance level in one hour chart at 1.2614 and start to look for a buy chance. And that's what I'm looking for today. Okay, so um, before I became a full-time trader, um, I thought that I will be having opportunities every day. But uh, the fact was not true, actually. Um, we are actually excited to trade every day, possibly, and run profits along the way. But uh, patience is also important, and waiting is sometimes important, very important. And it's also the part of the trading also. We tend to focus on entry edge, when to buy, when to sell, and uh, also when to exit. But uh, we don't really talk about, uh, or we don't really think about until when we have to wait. Because, but if you know until when you have to wait, and when you start to look for the entry edge, then uh, you become more confident on your strategies and rules, and also you became disciplined. Yeah, as mentioned, discipline is also the very key to success in the long run. So this is where you have to be patient. You might 
want to buy here and the market goes up this way but what if the market breaks market comes all the way back to the support and also Kijun Sen and breaks down to the Kumo it's possible in this case in one hour chart and once again it's simply that because this is ranging in the middle time frame so that's one of the markets that I wanted to share today so let's look into the other one which is pound AUD I mentioned on this pound AUD also bullish and simply because uh, as I mentioned here the Kijun Sen Kijun Sen Senko Span A is up so if you see the angle of Senko Span A and once again if you're new to Ichimoku uh, Senko Span A is the upper part of the Kumo so Senko Span A is up and Senko Span B angle is flat but overall Kumo has been up trending so this, the Kumo shows up trending. That means that this is bullish in the long term. So that's one of the confirmations for this bullishness in by Ichimoku. And also I mentioned Kijun Sen up. Kijun Sen is up, and Kijun Sen once again is a green line. And Kijun Sen angle is currently pointing upwards in the daily chart. So that's another confirmation for the uptrend. And then I also added the Chikou span above the candles. So Chikou span is a yellow line and the Chikou span is above the candles right now and this also shows bullishness. So we have three confirmations for the bullishness and I expect the market goes up continuously. But since there is a resistance level in the daily chart at 1.86624 level, um, in this case, since the price is too close to the resistance, we better wait until the market breaks and retest and goes up this way and look for buy chance. Because um, even if you see the Kumo up and everything's up like this, um, it, might retry, it might retrace backwards or it might retrace or it might consolidate until the market breaks upwards this way. And if it consolidates, then uh, the Kumo could be flat and Kijun Sen might turn flat. And when you see Kumo Kijun Sen become flat, then you don't look for the buying chance anymore. Because if you see this flatness of Ichimoku, then as per Ichimoku nature, the market can retrace all the way back to Kijun Sen. But for now, once again, this is too bullish. Once again, Kumo is too bullish and Kijun Sen bullish. Chikou spun above the candles. So this is bullish. So we can still expect the market breaks and it, it could, it could. Um, the market could break upwards, the resistance, and it may continuously go up this way. But still, we have to wait until the market breaks the resistance level at 1.86624 level from the resistance uh, since uh, 26, 29th of May last year. So this is also the analysis for this market. Yeah, and also um, quickly mentioning about the news for today. Uh, we, we have a couple of news in the US and also um, uh, yeah, US itself. Uh, there will be a retail sales today and also Michigan consumer sentiment report will be there too. So these news are important, and if you're taking trade on USD pairs, you have to be careful. And also gold could be affected by this too. So in that sense, among these two pairs, uh, the first one, the USD CAD, could be affected by the news. So depending on news condition, it may be traced backwards. So if you have no positions, and if you're looking for the buy chance, then don't trade before the news. Before the news meaning don't trade before like one hour before the news. If you if you have no positions, then just uh, just let the news go and uh, come back to chart afterwards after a couple of minutes or thirty minutes, one hour, one hour. And if the market is trending still, then you can still be in a trade. And that's why I always check news before I take trades. And even if I have positions, 
I watch news, I check news because it can affect the market. And I, but I don't really trade by the news because um, I'm not an economist. So uh, you know, I, I do read news in uh, magazines also, but uh, I don't have bias toward the news. I am more towards a technical analysis trader on this forex market. So uh, yeah, my trades are almost based on the technical analysis by Ichimoku and Lions price actions and multiple time frames. Okay, so I guess uh, that's it for today. I think these two are the pairs that are interesting to talk about. So that's why I have picked up these two. But if you're seeing some trending pairs, trending markets, uh, whether it's uh, stock markets, indices, or commodities, you can follow through the trend direction. And if you don't see a trend direction based on the Ichimoku in higher time frames, then I recommend you to hold until you see another trending pairs or trending time in the future. All right, so that's it for today's video session. I hope you liked it. If you liked it, please press the like button and I will see you on the next one. So happy Friday once again, everyone, and I will see you soon. Until then, please stay healthy, stay safe, and stay gold. All right, matane, everyone. Thank you.